So there's been a nuclear attack. Don't ask me how or why, just know that the big one has hit. And know this, that if I wasn't being paid by the state, I would say, truth be known, that's the end of this video because you and your family are now incinerated chips and your home is in a thousand pieces scattered throughout New York City. Thanks for watching, good night, and I'll see myself out. Probably face through a wall. But since you, the people, have paid for this comical, misguided and deluded information reel through theft, uh, sorry, I mean through your taxes, I will gladly continue to deceive you good folks of New York City. Oh, and as for the why, well, we did it. Government. Don't believe me? Look up the word democide. Okay, so what do we do? Nothing. We're already dead or already dying. Step one? Steps. You mean with one leg in Central Park and the other one in Staten Island? Get inside fast. Get inside what? The initial blast on a major populated city with a modern thermonuclear weapon making the two dropped in Japan look like minor irritations would render most buildings uninhabitable due to the fact that they are no longer there. You, your friends, your family are all dead. But thank you for assuming that I have friends. Get inside. And no, staying in the car is not an option. You need to get into a building and move away from the windows. Now, I know I said there would be no buildings, but even if they were, what windows? All windows would have been blown out of their frames due to the unprecedented impact of the powerful shockwave. Step two, stay inside. Shut all doors and windows. Closing doors would be irrelevant, particularly when you're buried under tons of concrete, bricks and metal. We would be naive to believe that Russia, with its vast thermonuclear arsenal, would, would only be dropping one bomb on New York City, given that they will be targeting the Federal Reserve banking, energy producing utilities, communication hubs, airports, train stations, etc. And given the amount of bombs that will be dropped on NYC and the raging firestorms that will continue probably if not for hours but many days, there would be many doors or windows left to close. Have a basement? Head there. Because a basement would make a most excellent sealed tomb for you and your family buried under the aforementioned materials. If you don't have one, get as far into the middle of the building as possible. Yep, and hold hands with your loved ones and you can all kiss your asses goodbye. If you were outside after the blast, again, you're dead or dying. But if not, you could take some once in a lifetime snaps of the Armageddon unfolding in front of you and upload them to your Instagram account. Get clean immediately. Remove and bag all outer clothing to keep radioactive dust or ash away from your body. Clean with what? Irradiated water? Removing radioactive clothing will also disperse particles that you will inhale and thus increasing your chances of getting cancer. By all means, strip off, bag up all polluted clothing and then good luck finding a pair of jeans and a hoodie as they are either all burnt, scattered throughout New York City or just all irradiated. Step 3. Stay tuned. Follow media for more information. Nah, this for me was the funniest thing that she stated in this public information video. Stay tuned to what? Had they grasped the epic damage an EMP would do in an airburst? That said, imagine following media for information. That's the same media, the same degenerate and unpatriotic media that lied to you on steroids in the lead up to this nuclear catastrophe. The same media populated with political activists and mouthpieces for government and not unbiased and subjective professional journalists. Yeah, I think not. Don't forget to sign up for Notify NYC for official alerts and updates. Again, I think not. You people are the problem and embrace agendas and deception as passionately as Jimmy Savile had a passion for kids in wheelchairs. And don't go outside until officials say it's safe. Don't go outside until officials say it's safe. 
Firstly, most people will be outside due to the lack of buildings and those that might structurally still be standing will in all likelihood be lacking roofs and windows allowing the dangerous fallout to blanket you to the point that you're now glowing like a Christmas tree light. Secondly, which officials would that be? The ones protected by this nightmare who are all cozied up with filtered air, clean water and food that is not irradiated? The ones that facilitate tensions leading to the end of modern civilization? Those officials? All right, you've got this. Yeah, you got this, folks. Let me show you what you got. In conclusion, I find these governmental videos disingenuous. They blanket the naive within the public with a false sense of security and hope. Far from me to tell anyone if they should or even bother try to survive a full-scale nuclear conflict. But what I will say is this. If you want to give advice, be realistic and honest about it. Here's a few quick questions that you might consider asking yourself. If the city you lived in switched off the gas, electricity and water supply for just one week, how prepared are you right now to deal with such an inconvenience? How much food do you have inside your home right now? A few days? A week? A month? Any backup water? Are you a prepper? Do you have weapons? A generator? Medicines? Emergency food? Water? Do you have a plan for you and your family in an SHTF scenario? What's my point? The government should not deceive the people. Tell the people that in all likelihood that they will have to rely on themselves completely and knowing this, prep accordingly, which in my opinion is down to the individual. In truth, most of us will die. Bottom line, consistently tell government officials running their mouths off about their willingness to press the big red button in the name of national security to shut the f*** up. The government would have caused your suffering. The least they can do is be honest and bow out of your life while you watch the multitude of mushrooms decorating the landscape.